Bring your fluorescent light boxes into the LED age with LED lighting retrofit kits from Environmental Lights. You'll save on electricity and won't have to replace bulbs and ballasts anymore. In just 10 minutes, you can convert to LED. It's much faster than replacing the entire box. Many existing light boxes are installed into the wall and removing them is messy, time consuming and expensive. Get it done fast, on a budget. You'll preserve your existing box investment and your existing graphics will continue to fit in the boxes you already own. Here's how to do it. Choose the right kit for your box based on the dimensions of the box. This one is four by three feet and requires four 20 inch bars and two drivers. It consumes 65 watts. The light bars are UL listed under IFDR and the power supply is certified as a UL sign accessory component and is listed in the UL sign components manual. Assemble your tools. You'll need two battery operated drills, one with a 330 seconds bit and one with a small Phillips screwdriver bit. If you're retrofitting many boxes, don't waste time changing bits. One small Phillips screwdriver, wire strippers, Windex and paper towel to clean the glass or plastic, tape to secure the wires to the back of the box. First, open the box and set aside the graphic insert. Turn off the power. Remove the existing lighting. Fluorescent lights have small amounts of mercury, so be sure to take them to a licensed hazmat facility. Check our manual to determine how to position the bars and drivers. Center the bars and mark the box so you know where they go. Using a 330 seconds bit, drill a hole in the back of the box and secure the top bar to the box using the Phillips screws we provide with the retrofit kit. At the bottom, plug the red line from the driver into plus and the black line into minus. Using electrical connector pins, attach the next bar and secure it with another screw. Polarity is important. Connect the correct end of the first bar to the second, plus to plus, minus to minus. Using screws ensures they won't fall down. Don't use tape. Continue installing, securing, and wiring the bars according to the diagram until you're done. Wire the primary side of the drivers by connecting all brown driver lines to the black power line. Connect all blue driver lines to the white power line. In this case, the power lines from the switch were at the top of the box, so I had to attach a few feet of wire to reach my drivers, which I wanted to lay in the bottom of the box. Turn the box on. Tape loose wires to the back of the box to ensure they can't be seen. Clean all transparent surfaces to ensure maximum transmission. Close the box and move on to the next one. We recommend using rolling carts to carry the new and old lighting as well as your tools. I retrofitted this box in 10 minutes, but with a little practice, I think you can do even better. If you have any questions about retrofit lighting, give us a call.